I am reading a poem entitled Red by Jakaya, who is a fourth grader from Baxter Community Center. Red looks like strawberries and cherries. Red sounds like boom and smash and bark and roar. Red smells like sweet chips that are hot and spicy like peppers. Red tastes like fruity and hot and peppery and burnt. Red feels like warm when you have a blanket, cool when you feel good. Red by Jakaya. I shall now read a story by Ignacio. On January 21, 2012, the press club and I went to an activity called Skate and Create, hosted by the Grand Rapids Art Museum. When we first arrived, we had to wait in line to rent skates. Once we put on our skates, we tried to skate, and it was an epic fail. However, that was not the only activity. They also had snowboarding. After we froze to death, we stopped inside to do the crafting activity. We did drawing and pictures. We also talked to Katie Williams, who is one of the chaperones. Finally, my thoughts are, it was fun. How Valentine's Day really started, according to Nathan, who is in first grade. This is the story about how Batman created Valentine's Day. He created this holiday because he liked to give people presents. Batman's favorite thing was to give heart-shaped cookies that tasted like strawberries. Batman gave everyone his cookies by flying to their houses like Santa Claus, but Batman was different because he had a cape. He only gave his cookies to good people. Good people listened to their moms and dads and Batman. Good people also give lots of thanks and hugs to people they love. That's why Valentine's Day is all about love. Uh, this is a story by Jelani. He's a first grader, six years old, and he's one of the Baxter kids that we work with. This story is entitled, An Elephant in a Car. Once upon a time, there was an elephant. He lived in California and he drove a car. The car went vroom, 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 and it drove the elephant to his wedding. At the wedding, he met another elephant named Gloria. Gloria introduced him to Speedy the Cheetah, Jeremy the Horse, and Durand the Lizard. After the wedding, they all go to Ice Cream Sandwich Land. There, they eat all the ice cream sandwiches. Jeremy the Horse gets really mad because he didn't get any ice cream. So he gets really mad and tells the other animals that they're mean. So the horse stays mad and goes home to his dam. The end. The press club reporters who write for the Rapidian um, wrote an article about what they love about Grand Rapids, and here's what they had to say. Donnie says, I like to live in Grand Rapids because I have a lot of memories in the city, like going to water parks, art prize, and movies. Also, the soccer, soccer practice is in the city, 
and I like to eat the closest and my favorite restaurant, McDonald's. And my house is in GR. Alexi says, what I love living in Grand Rapids is that in the summer they have the best lakes ever. My family and I love to go to Mackinac Island to go bike riding. There's awesome things to know about the history here. I love living in Grand Rapids. <coughs> Gilberto said, number one, I like Burger King. Number two, I like the fresh apples. Avalicia says, what I like about Grand Rapids is that it has many festivals like the Laugh Fest, the Miranda Fest, etc. I like all of the free stuff. Hillel says, he likes the rivers and streams, he loves the museums here and art galleries. A night at the Nutcracker dress rehearsal by Antonio. On December 8, 2011, the CYC Press Club went to see the dress rehearsal of the Nutcracker. Sometimes the play had to stop for the actors to try again. Some of the mice were nine and 10 years old. At midnight, the three mice were stealing their presents. All the girls got dolls and the main character got a Nutcracker. All the boys got swords and guns. There were explosions. I saw the wall grow red. There was a group of ballerinas who wore these white dresses and fake snow was falling on them. I hope no one swallowed it. At the end, all the people who performed, Russian, Chinese people, and many more, danced. I know how to do the move the Russians did. It's called the coffee grinder. In the Nutcracker, there are two things that I learned. Boys can dance ballet and explosions are cool. New Girl by Charlie Hernandez Diaz. There was a girl named Manure. She came from You're Ugly to Michigan. It was the first day of school when I, Giselle Diaz, went to meet her. She had a hideous bow on her head, one eye, no teeth, smelled bad was actually hairless, bald, and has big, humongous, terrifying fingers. Ugh. After gym, she wanted to take a shower, so all she did was put fly shampoo all over herself. Joey, a kid she likes, cool and popular, said, Yuck! I don't want to stick around you! On her birthday, she went home to You're Ugly, and there was a flood in the city. Then she smelled like fish, so a man said, You smell good! And ever since, she got married with the man. The end. Aww, that's nice how they got married at the end. I like how that one ended.